Esther. Yes po. Yes, Jenny. Eh, okay lang po ba? Hindi ko pa sinagutan kasi sir yung nakaraang week. Kasi pang midterm yun, sir. Ah, actually, waiting na ano yun eh. Uh, parang, kasi may isang week na kulang dun sa notes natin. So, that will be the supplicate, supplementary dun sa midterm natin. So, dapat nasagutan nyo siya kasi part siya ng, ano, part na siya ng prelim. Pero, kung hindi naman, sige, ilagay, isunda na lang natin yung ating uh, lectures. So, we are now advanced. <laughs> advanced na tayo sa ating lectures. So, uh, kasi alam ko, ang, ang, ang covers kasi ng film natin is part siya ng human relation. So, kasi yung week 3 ninyo, kung makikita niyo sa ninyo, hindi, naka-hide siya. Hinahid ko kasi same siya ng topic ng week 4. So, kaya hinahid ko yung isa. So, instead na dapat yung relation lang tayo doon sa sa 3, same siya ng 4. So, part, dapat yung Itong week 4, yung week 4 na nakaraan, part pa rin talaga siya ng prelim natin. Yun yung explanation doon. <laughs> Ayan. So sa pag ganun, uh, extend ko na lang yung, ano, yung ating NEO. If ever hindi niya parang sasagutan yung pang meter. Kasi part siya ng ating prelim. So, any questions pa? Wala, wala. So far, wala naman. Okay, so uh, we will now uh, we will now continue our discussion no uh, for our uh, FOP natin, no? Fundamentals of Opera's Procedure. So we are now in the week 5. Ayan, no? day 5 na tayo ng ating lectures. no So sa, sa last 3, uh, sa last 4 weeks natin, nakasama ko kayo. So so far, ba may, may natutunan ba tayo? Meron ba kayo natutunan? <laughs> Ayan, so wala wala akong wala na guess. <laughs> Ayan, so ayun. Hindi ko alam kung, hello po, narinig niyo po ba ako? Kasi baka mamaya hindi niyo ako narinig, nagsasalita ko, nagsasalita. Narinig po. Ah, narinig. Loud and clear naman, loud and clear naman. Yes po. Okay, so let me continue our topic. So, wala muna tayong icebreaker today kasi hindi pa enough yung ating napag-usapan na nakaraan to make an icebreaker. So maybe by next week, no uh, we will have also an icebreaker or introductory activity natin kasi mamaya may pagagawa ako sa inyong activity. Hopefully, magawa ninyo ng maayos to analyze no the, the, the video presentation data part that I will show to you. So hopefully, uh, strong yung ating internet connections para hindi tayo... Uh, nahuhuli dun sa ating uh, discussion, na synchronous discussion natin. So, let me uh, share my screen uh, sa inyo. Share ko lang po yung ating screen. Ayan. So, we'd love your editor. Continue editing. Ayan. So, nakikita niyo po ba yung ating screen? Ayan. Nakikita niyo po ba? Hello. Yes, sir. Hi. Yes, ano po. po. Ano po nakikita niyo sa screen natin? Malaki po ba yung ano, yung picture? Nakikita niyo po ba may malaki po ba malaki? Yes, um, po, sir. Okay. So kasi minsan kasi pag nag-share ako ng ano ng uh, Canva, using Canva presentation, usually hindi kasi nakikita, hindi ko lang kung bakit. Pero sa inyo sabi niyo naman nakikita niyo naman. So good tayo, sir. Ayan. So day five na tayo ng ating lecture. Uh, if you have uh, some uh, replays of our recorded uh, uh, lectures, no, you can visit the channel of Thirty Channel in order for you to have a recap or some details. Na na nakalikta nyo kasi bigla na wala yung internet connection, no? Na biglang biglang nagbumagal yung internet connection, bigla kayo na wala during our synchronous lecture. So you can uh, retrieve or you can play back or you can uh, uh, recap our lectures, continuous lectures sa dito sa ating YouTube channel. Ayan. So, uh, we have uh, four learning objectives for this activity. Ayan. So, may like chat. So, yung attendance po. <laughs> Ayan po yung attendance. Okay. So, number one is describe the ways on how to improve voice. Okay. Apply the tips on how to increase efficiency on, tele on the telephone. Distinguish the different ways in identifying self when answer the telephone. 
demonstrate the step and handling in coming and outgoing po. So, medyo, ano tayo, medyo intense yung ating pag-uusapan ngayon kasi it's about uh, answering the telephone call. So, so later, so sana marinig ko kahit some of you know how to answer a telephone but uh, in our midterm so i will i will put a uh, additional submission hindi ko pa nagagawa yung ano additional uh, ano no yung para makasubmit so, mapag submit kayo ng office at tayo na picture ninyo hindi ko pa hindi ko pa nilalagay so is my assignment uh, this week to put additional uh, additional uh, submission uh, link no para ma-upload niyo yung picture niyo na naka, naka front office sa na kayo and then the second for during your actual in midterm okay uh, will be your telephone conversation so in the telephone conversations uh, you can find your family member okay family member niyo or kaya classmate niyo na malapit lang sa bahay niyo na pwedeng uh, yung maging partner no sa inyong telephone conversation so uh, in the telephone conversation, what are your items na kailangan natin? So, lalagay ko naman din doon sa inyong uh, instructions kung paano nyo i-apply yung in telephone conversation. No? So, pero kailangan nila maghanda ng phones, syempre to answer and uh, to, to, uh, to conduct the ingoing, uh, the, uh, the outgoing and incoming calls. No? Not outgoing. <laughs> uh, 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 incoming and outgo uh, 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 outgoing calls natin. No? And of course, your uh, uniform. No? Kailangan naka-uniform kayo during your uh, presentation nyo ng telephone conversation. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> segue lang natin yun. Okay, so let's uh, have another slide. Asa na naman yung aking presenter? Hindi ko na naman nakikita yung aking paglilip. Ayan. So bumalik na naman tayo. Ayan, handling of incoming calls. Okay, so in today's, sabi niya, uh, handling of incoming and outgoing telephone calls. So in today's highly competitive business world, quick, effective actions spells the difference between the success and the failure. To get fast uh, result, almost all companies prefer to a telephone customer rather than to write them. Okay, uh, in every offices, major of contacts are made by phone. The secretary's knowledge of effective telephone techniques okay uh, and practice the practice of good voice quality and her familiarity with telephone services and equipment are her assets or his assets which are in demand okay so lalo ngayon nung dumaan tayo nung panahon ng pandemic no so we need to have a distance to one another kaya mas uh, mas uh, naging in demand ngayon yung ating tinatawag na telephone call or having a a distance communication which is using the telephone. So mas in demand siya sa ngayon at hindi na siya mawawala okay, in our uh, industry or companies na uh, about sa mga telephone communications na ito. So hindi na siya mawawala kasi part na siya na uh, part na siya at mas malaki yung part niya ngayon for receiving an in, uh, in, uh, incoming and outgoing uh, calls natin. Okay, so next next natin is how to achieve a good voice. Again, so how to achieve a good voice? So the quality of your voice is depend up uh, is depend upon its rate. So uh, the rate, the pitch, the timber, the reson or resonance and the volume and the other essentials in good production in good voice productions are properly enunciation articulation and pronunciation okay so number one natin is rate of speed okay it is the manner okay of your fastness or slowness of speed in talking okay so dapat uh, alam ninyo yung uh, 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 pakiramdaman niyo yung pagsasalita ninyo kung mabilis ba kayo or mabagal kayo if the people do not easily understand you, it may it may be that you speak too fast. Okay, masyado na kayo mabilis, kaya medyo hindi kayo maintindihan ng tao. Or, if a people becomes bored or lose of interest, okay, in listening to you, okay, it it, it may be that uh, it may be you speak too slow. Okay, you are or you are speaking slowly. You are speak so slowly. Okay, so kung bakit nabuboard naman sa'yo, yung mga nakikinig sa'yo. 
And the, the last one is if your objective should be normal rate of speech, not too slow and not too fast. So that's the number one uh, ways, okay, to achieve, okay, your uh, uh, good voice, no? The rate of speed, okay? Rate of speed that you are not too slowly and you are not too also fast. Okay, the second is speech or tone. Okay, this refers to the highness and lowness, okay, of your voice. Kung masyado bang malakas yung boses mo or masyado ba namang mahina yung boses mo, no? So dapat i-analyze uh, rin yan in your communication. Too high voice tends to be squeaky and irritate, irritate the listener's ear. Pag sobrang lakas ng boses mo, hindi pong pag na... Pag na Pag narinig niya siya, no, basag na yung uh, yung yung o kanyang audio kasi sobrang lakas ng kanyang boses, no? Uh, it it makes the listener irrit irritably uh, irritates their ears, no? Kasi nga basag na sobrang lakas ng boses, basag na yung binakikinggan or probably may problem with the microphones that he or she use, no? And the second is uh, too high uh Pitch tends to rise when the person is under stress or emotional strains, which causes the rate of breathing to increase. Okay, sometimes kasi yung pitch kasi ng tone, ginagamit natin yan in communications if there are something, okay, uh, affects our communication or our, our uh, uh, speech. No? For example, if the speech requires be aggressive, then our voice will become aggressive too. No? If... Uh, uh, if the statement requires a mellow, soft voice, then our 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 vocal uh, uh, speech will be a mellow, slow, okay, uh, kind of uh, speech. Okay, so dapat alam niyo rin yung ganyan, yung pitch or tone natin. Next natin is timber or resonance. Okay, resonance is produced by vibration. You need to use your mouth, throat, and chest in the voice production natin. So, ginagamit daw natin dapat yung ating bibig, yung ating throat, okay, at yung ating chest voice. Okay? E usually, ito, ma ma mapapansin nyo ito kapag kumakanta kayo ng, uh, ng isang kanta, no, na ginagamit, gumagamit kayo ng timbre o yung vibrations ng inyong boses. Na ginagamit ninyo yung bibig o kaya yung head tone o kaya yung inyong chest tone. Okay, which is a technique na ginagamit natin sa pagkanta is the chest tone so, para hindi natin uh, para hindi pilit no yung ating pag uh, pagsasalita or pagkanta natin. So ganun din okay sa ating uh, sa ating uh, pag uh, sasalita no uh, para hindi masyadong magasgasan yung yung uh, 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 throat no sa pagsasalita. You need to carry your 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 uh, uh, your voice to your chest. Actually, I have a problem last week no, on Wednesday after the discussion with you. <laughs> nawala na ako ng boses kasi nga nagkamali kasi ako ng paggamit ko ng pagkasalita kahapon. Kasi nga, pap, diba, alam niyo, papalit-palit kasi ako ng pwesto yes, na last meeting, last discussion natin. Kaya after noon, hindi na ako makapagsalita ng maayos kasi nga, uh, alam niyo, nag, gumagalaw kasi ako. So that's, that, that's a problem, no? kapag kasi lagi mong ginagamit yung boses mo at ginagamit mo yung uh, yung yung boses mo gamit yung yung mouth or throat okay nagkakaroon kasi ng ano yan ng uh, ng stress sa iyong uh, vocal uh, na kung saan uh, namamaos ka after na magsalita ka okay kasi you are giving a full effort to your to your throat which is uh, maiiwasan sana yun Kung gagamitin natin is the chest. So, basically, kalmado ka lang, uh, hindi ka aggressive, hindi ka galit, di ba? Mga ganong, uh, ganong uh, ano natin, timber or resonance natin. And the last one is the volume. Uh, no, 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 no. The fourth one is the volume. Volume is the degree of loudness and softness of your voice. Okay? If you speak softly, the listener may strain their ear to hear you. Pag sinabi na pag masyado ka namang ma, 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 malamlam na magsalita, alam mo yung didikit pa nila yung earphone nila sa tengong para maramdaman nila. Ano ba yung sinasabi? O oh, mapakinggan nila. Ano yung sinasabi mo? No? If you speak so loudly naman, it may assault that you are... Uh, it may assault naman the listener... Uh, ano, uh, it may assault or irritate your listeners. No? 
okay uh, sa inyong uh, pag sa pagsasalita okay neither is sin is described nor deadly sameness of volume okay yung atin sa uh, ating uh, topic with the volume no so para siyang pitch or tone no actually pitch and tone and volume are co- are connected no uh, actually yung pitch or tone timbre and resonance are connected yan so meron tayo kasing uh, pitch or tone na merong malalim magsalita yung tipong uh, low mr dj can i have a request okay so that is a part of uh, parts of a uh, changing no your pitch or tone no ah uh, pero pwede pwede mo ring sabihin na uh, uh, pwede mo ring sabihin na uh, in the volume no low mr dj can i make a request like that so uh, it affects it affects the delivery of the of the uh, of the sentence no or the speech na gusto niyo sabihin at same time Kung ikaw naman din ang isang secretary if you if you are uh, a kind of uh, exchanging no uh, a word to your guests or clients or some executives no you're talking in the phone so it may affect you no know, the conversation if you are not properly using your pitch the timbre and then the volume of your uh, communication the fifth one is the enunciation and the pronunciation so enunciation is the process of articulating and combining the sounds into a syllable okay it is it is a way or a process of you or, or saying things or words okay into a slang manner okay uh parang uh, it gives a uh, uh confident no in uh into uh uh saying a certain kind of word okay na na binibigay natin So the combining of syllables into two words or into words called the pronunciation. Okay, so uh, this enunciation is the letters. Okay, that combines into a certain kind of word that gives a. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, that that provide that that that's ano tawag ito? That's how you pronounce no the words. Okay, na binibigay niyo or binibitawa niyo sa uh, sa pag habang nagsasalita kayo no. especially sa atin bilang mga uh, bilang uh, mga future secretary and we are answering the telephone call so dapat alam alam din niyo how to speak no properly especially sa mga salita na mga binabanggit natin or sa pagpo-pronounce ng mga salitang uh, ginagamit natin sa pagpo-communicate dapat ang pronounce natin siya ng maayos no hindi ko naman siya ma-pronounce ng maayos uh, It's your time, no? It's your chance naman na to improve yourself, no? Ah, uh, kasi syempre, syempre, ah, uh, hindi naman din tayo uh, uh, perfect na tao na kapag mag-pronounce ng mga salita is napaka-articulate, no? Napaka napaka ginagamit yung enunciation na tinatawag natin, no? So, as much as we could, uh, we could do that, still we have a certain kind of limits. Okay, in telling or discussing is something. So, kapag may ganong mga ganong sina, may ganong point, okay, so it's now your chance, okay, to prove to yourself that you can be better than this or better than that. Okay, so to deliver each separate sound clearly requires the proper use of your tongue, teeth, lips, and jaw. Okay, sometimes kasi actually uh, meron yang ano eh, Diba ngayon may nauuso na yung mga tinatawag nating speech therapy during childhood, no? Kasi kapag nagkakaroon ng speech therapy ang isang bata, it means that yung kanyang tongue is maikse. Okay? Kagaya ko, yung tongue ko is maikse. That's why I it's hardly for me to pronounce a certain kind of word which is connected with R and L. Okay? But I try my uh, I try my best naman, syempre, of course, to, uh, to pronounce it clearly. Ay kasi nung panahon naman namin, no 1990s, wala namang by speech speech therapy. Kaartihan lang yan sa buhay. Pero ngayon kasi, in your generation, no you are using that kind of uh, terminologies in order for you to to make your tongue longer or kaya uh, to practice no the the pronunciation. Kaya kung kayo, magkakaroon kayo ng future daughter or kids in uh, our son, okay, in the future, no you try to uh, you try to com- communicate then in English kasi uh kasi that's how they practice no the communication kasi ang, ang hirap sa atin din sa atin mahirap mag-speak ng ano ng ng English kapag hindi natin talaga na pagdadaanan yan one by one so kagaya uh, kagaya ng mga ibang mga kagaya, you know 
it's part of our life, no? Hindi naman sinasabi na kaartihan yung pag-i English ng nung bata pa, no? Or kaya uh, uh, ngayon pwede naman mag-English English sa kaarte-arte pa lagi English. Hindi naman hindi naman ganoon ang point natin, no? Kasi English is part of our communication, especially when we when we are talking about uh, the industry or kaya we're talking inter- uh, we're talking people outside the country. Okay, so we uh, we need to use this kind of language in order for us to communicate or to express ourselves to other. Okay, kagaya niyan, uh, maraming man, man, kaya sa atin, mga Pilipino, no? ang dami-dami mga nasa ibang bansa, no? Okay, kahit uh, if, you're, if you have the goal that, I mean, kung meron kang goal ng ganyan sa buhay mo, if you want to go abroad, then you learn to, to, to practice yourself, no? Okay, to so to express yourself in English or to speak, no, uh, in English. So, kaya para pag nag-telephone conversation na kayo dito sa ating uh, uh, klase, eh, hindi na kayo mahihirapan, hindi na kayo tatawa, hindi na kayo, uh, hindi na kayo, uh, awag nito, hindi na kayo magbubungis-ngisan. Kasi you learn to practice, eh. you learn how to, you learn how to speak kasi. Okay, na po ka ba? Okay, next natin is your enunciation may be faultless and your articulate articulation is clear, but you will make it poor impression if your hearers or if you're now if you pronounce words incorrectly, diba? You you have a good uh, enunciation. You pronounce the word clearly or you articulate I don't know. You 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 articulate the word clearly because because of the spelling whatever. Okay, but you pronounce it wrong, so it it jumps everything. No? Ano na yan? Uh, Makaka-apekto na, maka na yan sa pagsasalita mo kasi nga, you pronounce, you pronounce it incorrectly. Diba? For example, uh, you are using A as I, E as uh, yun, uh, O as U, or kaya U as O. Diba? Mga ganyan. Yung A, I, E as pronounce as I, you pronounce it E, you pronounce it E, you pronounce it I. Mga letter natin. So, somehow, it affects no, our communication. Next is learn to understand and follow the diacritical remarks of your dictionary. Listen and learn correct in the pronunciation. Okay? So, you know how, you know how to practice it. You listen to, uh, to YouTube, the different pronunciations na kailangan ninyong, uh, para hindi kayo magkamali, no? Okay? Next natin, the last one is the diction. Diction refers to the right choice of word, okay, that you will use in the communication. Okay, next. Okay, how to improve your voice? Okay, first is uh, you need to evaluate your own voice. Have you you have uh, have you ever listened to yourselves? Ayan, na-try nyo na bang record yung voices ninyo sa recording application nyo sa cellphone and then you listen to your voice, okay? Then if you do that, alam mo kung ano, kung ano ang quality ng bosses na, ma- na maririnig mo or maririnig ng ibang tao sa iyo. Okay? Perhaps you can speak into recording equipment and then play back and recording to hear what your voice is really like. Okay? Or you may ask your family or friends tell you how your voice sounds over the phone. When you can identify your voice problems, you begin a voice improvement program. Okay, so mga ganong practice natin. Kaya ngayon, di ba, magkakaroon tayo ng telephone conversation, you practice yourself. Okay, you you practice to 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 uh, to to make a call, di ba? Pag sa alam niyo, iba iba kasi yung iba kasi yung tawagan sa Messenger na magkakaibigan, iba yung tawagan ng pagka-professional. So, I mean, yung ina hindi naman pagka-professional, kumbaga ina-apply mo sa trabaho mo, no? Kasi you, you you have you have uh, you, you need to understand those uh, those kind of uh, you know uh, expression no para ma- ma-identify ninyo or magawa ninyo ng maayos yun yung communication okay so, uh, so I challenge everyone here in our lecture to record their voice and listen to their voice after after recording it and then you identify if you have a pro- voice problem or you have an improvement to your voice okay and then you start to evaluate your voice no okay what are those voice evaluation na kailangan natin number 1 is 
each word spoken clearly and pronounced correctly. Did I did I uh, did I speak clear? Did I pronounce it correctly? Okay. My voice is not too loud, not too soft, and is is, is it an it is is it appropriate? Yung masyado bang malakas, appropriate ba siya? Yung masyadong mahina ba or malam, malambing is tama ba siya? Okay? Is my voice as pleasant, free from harness, not, not dull? Okay? Pag sinabi natin dal na ito yung parang ang boring mong kausap. No? Ito pong pag, pag sinagot ka sa, sa tao, bababaan ka na agad kasi sobrang um, ano, ang, ang, ano, ang monotone na ginagamit mo sa na boses mo sa pag-usap. No? Okay? So, my voice is a pleasant, uh, my, is my voice uh, at a pleasant level, not too high or not too low? Okay, so evaluate niyo yung inyong pagkasalita, no? Does my voice uh, has a cheerful sound? Okay, kagana-gana ba akong pakinggan? Ayan. Do I speak not too fast or not too slow? Ayan, so i-evaluate niyo. Is ever syllable I sound clear or un understandable? Do I sound each word correctly? Is my language simple and appropriate? Appropriate? Is my voice interesting and varied? Okay, so those are the different questions that ha, I mean, how to evaluate your voice. Okay, so uh, uh, make yourself free. Libre lang naman yung inyong application and recording app. Sa cellphone niyo, try to no, try to listen your voice and try to evaluate it. Okay, and then when you pass uh, seven out of ten. It means that you still have an uh, improvement, okay? To your, uh, you, you still uh, have the room, no, to improve your voice. If you have the uh, the voice evaluation ten out of ten, then you are ready, no, to communicate in the telephone. Okay. Next, na then, telephone techniques. Okay, telephone technique techniques. Okay. Uh, we have here seven steps in handling incoming calls. So what are those seven no, uh, techniques in incoming calls? Natin? Number one is answer the telephone calls promptly on the first or the second ring. Always have the written tool like pad, ball pen, and re uh, ready when answering a business telephone. Third is identify yourself courteously. And uh, four, screen the caller tactfully. Fifth is offer to help the caller. Six is terminate a call courteously. Seven is uh, do not forget to accomplish the message slip and forward it to the person concerned for appropriate action. So those are the seven no, telephone techniques na pwede mong gamitin. Okay, para sa incoming calls natin. But before we proceed to our next slide, let me share a video clip. Okay, to you. Okay, tas i-observe ninyo if tama ba, no? Yung ginawa nitong uh, nitong babaeng to. <laughs> okay, so I will I will show you a video clip. Okay. You try to ano, you try to observe this though. Whether this seventh step of handling incoming calls is correct or not. You won't have to do much training with me. We had the same phone system at my last job. All I need is the list of extensions and I'm set. My boyfriend says that this is the perfect job for me because I like to talk on the phone more than anybody he knows. <laughs> I see. Here, why don't you... Good morning. Christine Phelps office. This is Grace Johnson. How may I help you? Oh, I'm sorry. Ms. Phelps is in a meeting right now. Would you like me to transfer you to her voicemail or may I take a message? Certainly. Okay, may I get your name? Would you spell that for me, please? And your company name? And a phone number where you can be reached? And what message may I pass on?
Okay, let me make sure I have this correctly. It's Gary Bertoli of Bertoli and Sons, and that's spelled B-E-R-T-O-L-L-I. And you would like to reschedule your meeting on Tuesday the 21st, and your phone number is 413-555-9962. Thanks, Mr. Bertoli. I'll make sure that Ms. Phelps gets this message as soon as she comes out of her meeting. Thanks again for calling. Bye. Here's the uh, list of departments, employees, and extensions. And here's the headset. Absolutely. Take your time in HR. I've done this a million times. All right. Phelps cards. Hang on. I'm sorry, he's not answering. Can I uh, take a message? Okay. John, I'll tell him. Bye. Hi. Lindsay, right? Uh, Jack, sales. So how's it going for you so far? Great. Hey, a guy just called for you. John? Uh, John Hansen? Hansen Outlet Stores? He didn't say. He said you totally knew him. Well, actually, I have a lot of clients named John. What was it regarding? I'm not sure, but I have the number. <laughs> that doesn't help me if I don't know who I'm talking to, does it? Is that a four? Uh, nine, I think. Well, thanks. I think. Hello, uh, Mr. Hansen. Uh, this is Jack Connolly at Phelps Cards and Stickers. It's Wednesday, May 12th, 10, 15 a.m. I want to apologize about the confusion here earlier today. I'm calling to see if you have any questions about your quote or you'd like to place the order. Either way, our number here is 413-555-8744. Uh, I'll be here until 6 p.m. tonight. Uh, we uh, appreciate your business and we look forward to helping you in any way we can. Thank you. Okay, so how's the video? <laughs> uh, so, napanood nyo ba yung video? Napanood nyo naman yung video, tama ba? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Yes, po. Okay, based sa tatlong tao na nakita nyo kanina, who is the person, okay, that make this seven step, okay, of telephone techniques? I mean, who, who among them apply the seven techniques or telephone yung naka, Yung nauna, sir. Yung una, sir. Una, yung naka yes, sir. And then? Yung huli, sir. Yung yes. huli. Yung una, okay. saka yung huli natin. And then, the attitude of the second, or the, 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 the girl, okay, after the work of a telephone, a telephone operator, di ba, marami kayong nakitang attitude na nakakainis. Okay, tama ba? Sige, bigyan niyo ako ng iba't ibang mga attitude na nakita niyo na hindi dapat na nandoon sa isang uh, 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 tumatagot or tumat or nagireceive ng call. Sige nga magbigay kayo ng ano, magbigay kayo ng example. Um, tinapos niya po yung tawag sir nang bye lang yung sinabi niya, hindi po siya nag-thank you. <laughs> o di ba? Di ba apaka ano, apaka apaka ano no? <laughs> okay. Kumo ka para wala wala ano, walang modo. Basta thank you ano lang bye. Okay, baba ng telepono. So, so tama Basta 'yun. Kasi may ano, tinanong na? sa kanya sir yung lalaki, sabi niya I think hindi siya sigurado. So, ibig sabihin, hindi niya nakuha yung information ng buo. Okay? Malinaw, kasi, sir. Oh, okay. Kulang-kulang yung ano niya, kulang, sir, kulang, information. Kulang-kulang kulang, 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 kulang yung information. Kasi sinabi niya, John, John buo. Kasi there's a lot of John, di ba sinabi niya ano kanina, nung third person. Ano pa, ano pa? Using gadgets, sabi ni Domingo, sa chat box natin, true. Okay? Ano pa? Ano pa? Dali, ano pa yung napansin? Hindi siya nag-introduce, sir, ng name niya. Yes. Tapos pinunit okay. pa. Correct. Hindi niya siya nag-introduce ng pangalan niya kung sino siya. Okay, basta nilisip niya na yung call. Okay, and then yung nag-take down notes siya, kinuha siya ng isang, kumuha siya ng magazine, tapos sinulat niya doon sa bakanting sa space ng magazine, no? At saka, sinulat, doon na siya nagsulat, then pinunit niya na lang. 
Okay, so you you can see here the different attitudes no? isang, uh, ng isang empleyado is ter in terms of answering the telephone calls no? na hindi uh, tama. Okay, so dahil doon sa dahil doon sa mga hindi tamang attitude, hindi na deliver ng maayos yung quality service ng company na, na kanyang pinagtatrabahuhan. Which is hopefully sana hindi rin siya ma-relate no sa ating uh, sa ating kung paano nagtatrabaho na tayo. So we need to remove those kind of attitude okay in matter of telephone techniques natin. Okay? So uh great observer kayo. No? I mean uh, na nice observer kayo kasi na na, na ano niya na na na, na, na na identify niyo. Okay? In a short period of time, what are the different uh, techniques no or different uh, bad habits that may affect No, the telephone conversation or the company's image or uh, uh, service na ina offer niya. Okay, so next, we will proceed to the next slide natin. Okay, ways of identifying yourself when answering the telephone. Okay, so name of the company and greet the call. Okay, uh, name of the company and, off and offer to Ano yan? Ba't putol? <laughs> An offer help. Okay. And the last one, if he calls or there's a call being referred to you, the telephone operator, okay, said. Okay. Tama ba? Tama ba yung say pala? Say. Ayan. So number one, when you are answering at a, a, a telephone company, okay, you greet, okay, you, uh, you said the company name and greet the caller. Okay, so greeting time of uh, 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 natin is we are using no, kung ano ang oras ng anong oras siya, tum anong oras siya tumawag. For example, tumawag siya ng 8 a.m. So you will say good morning. No? Uh, tumawag siya ng uh, 1 p.m. Okay, so you say good afternoon. Okay, tumawag siya ng uh, 6 uh, p.m. So you say good evening. Okay, so those are different uh, greeting dates or greeting uh, greeting time na pwede natin sabihin to our caller. Okay, the first one, uh, the other one is uh, name of name the company, a name of the company. Okay, for example, Gomez Marketing, good afternoon. Okay, this is, uh, and then you state your uh, your name, no? And then offer help to them. Okay, for example, Gomez Marketing, good afternoon. This is John speaking. How may I help you? Okay, so that is the first uh Uh, way, no? How to uh, answer? I mean, after answering the, uh, I mean, uh, after yeah, <laughs> after answering the telephone in the first step. In your first step, natin, no. Second, natin is name of company offer offer help. Okay. Uh, hi. Uh, ano? Example. Uh, tumawag. I mean, nagring yung telephone. No? Good morning. Uh, go, uh, Gomez Marketing. Okay. Graf. Uh, how may? Uh, the, no, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> So these are there are these are three examples. No? Good morning, uh, good uh, Gomez Marketing. May I help you? Attorney, uh, Office of Attorney Daza. Good afternoon, Clinic of Doctor Lee. May I help you? So those these are three scenarios. So three different companies. No, so something sa, sa atin, kung we are using a Gomez Marketing app. Uh, no, so we can uh, we can say that good morning. Uh, go, no, good morning, Gomez Marketing. <laughs> good afternoon. This is John speaking. How may I help you? Okay, other way around, Attorney Daza. Uh, office of Attorney Daza. Good afternoon. This is Johnny speaking. How may I help you? For example, clinic. No, clinic of Doctor Lee. How, uh, this is Johnny speaking. How may I help you? Okay, that's how you answer. You know, the telephone call. And then as a, the next one. Okay, if if the call has been referred to you by a telephone operator. Okay, so pag sinabing referred, it in terms for yung call. Okay, ng uh, client. Ibig sabi nakapasok na yung call niya. Okay, to our. Uh, a customer service and then magdire direct siya into your department no so syempre pag uh, department na nandoon ka na sa department so you will say your department okay for example accounting department miss romeo speaking accounting department how may I help you okay so that is that is a uh, two way no how to answer the telephone call okay the first one is uh, from direct okay direct yan the third one and uh, the second one is referred by a telephone operator. Usually, nang, nang, nangyayari yung telephone operator when the customer or guest or clients okay, have a, uh, ano yun, uh, duman pa siya sa, sa, ano, sa telephone operator. Ito yung recorded no, na voice line messages. 
okay ng uh, ng company na kung saan binibigyan ka na, binibigyan ka ng different uh, uh, instructions to that to continue your telephone calls okay so kagaya na for example if you want to uh, speak to our customer service regarding to your loans press 1 if you're uh, speak uh, if you want to talk to our telephone operators press 4 Ah, ganyan. So, yun yung tiyatawag nating telephone operator. So, pag na-direct siya, pumunta na siya sa'yo, so, sabihin mo na yung department mo. Kasi naka-first naka in na sila doon, nagbaga nag-greet na sila doon sa company name, no? So, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's the other way around to, 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 to greet no, the customer. Okay? Next natin is how to screen. Okay? To screen the caller. Ayan. So, paano naman natin i-screen yung ating caller? No? So the, the information the secretary should find out about the caller. Number one is complete name of the caller. Okay, so dapat alam ninyo yung first name. Okay, or yung complete name. Okay, nang, nang tumatawag sa inyo. Okay, for example, Jean Rudolph Tolentino. So that is the complete name of the caller. Okay, then position of the caller. Okay, so position is what would be the... Hey, uh, pwede, ano ba siya? Uh, sales marketer ba siya? Executive ba siya? Uh, uh, accounting department ba siya? Okay, so you ask, okay, the position. Or probably, okay, uh, siya mismo ang sabi uh, uh, yung kanyang position. Okay, the company represented by the caller. Okay, for example, GIST or Gateway Institute of Science and Technology then telephone number of the caller to return the call for returning the call okay for example if meron siyang inquiry so kukuhanin mo yung number ng uh, ng ng tumatawag sa you in order for you to have a return call ibig sabihin if meron siyang questions at hindi mo nasagot agad-agad so pwede mo siyang tawagan and then you uh, you give the information right away okay persons the caller once okay get the complete name and purpose of the call okay and uh, alamin ninyo ano yung purpose nung pagtawag niya sa company ninyo. Okay, so those are different uh, informations okay, that, that secretary should find out about the caller. Okay, so complete name, positions, company represented by, telephone number of the caller, persons uh, that, the, that the caller wants to talk to, and the purpose of the call, if hindi kayo yung kakausapin. Okay, so next natin. How to handle outgoing business calls. Ayan na. So, medyo, ano na to, medyo mas nakakatakot to kaya sa pag-receive ng calls. Kasi pag-receive ng calls kasi natin, pwede lang siya, uh, I mean, uh, we can we can, we can can uh, answer the, the, the phone purchasely, uh, ganyan. And then, comfortable tayo na we are we are saying our own company. No? We are reflecting our company. What if naman ikaw na yung tatawag, no? papunta doon sa ibang company. Okay? So number one natin is learn how to use the telephone directory. So we have what you call the white pages, the, lay, the yellow pages, okay, uh, of telephone calls. So what are these uh, 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 white pages? These are the subscribers list. No? Ito yung mga uh, residential na tao or may pag-umayari ng tao na may telephone connections. Okay, usually you you will saw it in the PLDT, no? Uh, white pages and the yellow pages. Yellow pages, these are a, uh, a list of commercial or industrial subscribers. Okay, if you are using PA, okay, kung gumagamit pa tayo ng telephone directory using the uh, white pages and the yellow pages, no? Pero ngayon kasi hindi na natin, hindi na tayo gumagamit kasi, mat uh, yeah, hindi na kasi ganun ka accessible ngayon ang white pages sa yellow pages no uh, we are now uh, using the uh, the facebook or kaya the google to or the website to uh, take a look no the the company's contact number or directory of the company so search mo na lang yan for example gateway institute of science technology pa ayan so lalabas na agad yung contact number na nilagay nilang details doon sa kanilang website okay so dati yon gumagamit ko sila ng pages pero ngayon hindi na Okay, the next the next natin, learn to recognize different kind of tones. Okay, so ano yung mga tones na naririnig natin sa sa telepono? Number 1 is the dial tone. Okay, this is the ring, okay, of the uh, the dial tone. 
which is indicates that you are starting to uh, so sorry sorry the diba when you hang when you hang up the the phone okay diba may rinig kayo na to ta ganyan so that is the dial tone ibig sabihin that your telephone is connected to the server okay the second is the ringtone which is the burr indicates the number being rang up okay yung burr yung to 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 that's the number na kung saan yun yung dinadial mo okay the third okay tone that you will hear in the telephone is the busy tone okay that after you dial that certain number na na marinig niyo to 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 ibig sabihin the the, the the telephone is busy okay or some someone is calling okay in the other line okay kaya yun yung pwede ninyo yun yung mga uh uh ito, uh different tones that you need to recognize okay the third one is the keep of the list keep of list frequently called numbers so ano yung, ano yung, ano yung sinasabi nito keep a list of frequently called numbers ito yung madalas na tinatawagan ng kompanya nyo or ikaw mismo ito yung mga madalas na tinata tinatawagan mo mga number so have a list of it okay para hindi ka na magbuklat okay mag-open ng website o kaya mag-book mag mag-open uh, mag ng white pages or yellow pages okay of the directory na tatawagan mo so have a list na kasi yun naman yung madalas na tinatawagan ng company ninyo Okay, what are what are those numbers? Building supervisors, express office, messenger office, post office, railroads, telegraph office, repair services, like yung for example, repair services ng aircon, ng, ng internet connections, ng uh, computer, lahat ng mga ginagamit nyo sa office ninyo have a list of this kind of uh, uh, frequently called numbers. Okay, the, the, the fourth one is keep a list of emergency number. Okay, ano may mga emergency number ng fire, ng police, ng hospital, ng, po ng poison control center. So have a list of it also bilang, uh, bilang uh, ha I mean, having an outgoing business calls. Okay, so kailangan yan. Siyempre, iba't ibang mga area, iba't ibang mga number yung kanilang uh, ibinibigay. Sa atin na nga lang sa Pilipinas, buti naging, bas naging batas na rin yung 911. Okay, next natin is keep a list of personal numbers of your executive. Okay, having the list of your personal number of your executives like their bank, dentist, doctor, family, friends, garage, service, and stores to trade and travel agency. Okay, so those are some personal numbers of your executive boss or managers or supervisors that you, that, that you have in the company. Okay, next natin. Okay, keep a list of your company's telephone number, including the various department branches and sister companies. So have a list of it. For example, Sam is a JSC. So I'm here at JSC Kalan. So aka JSC Kalan. So we have list you know, of telephone numbers of JSC Kogyo, JSC Pasig, and JSC QC, and even sa Pampanga. And, so, and most of us, Uh, here, kabisado na yung mga number kasi ngayon lang yung form. Yun yung frequency na tinatawagan regard, uh, regarding about sa grades, concerns sa students, etc. Et so yun yung, ano, yun yung uh, uh, having uh, a list of your company's telephone number. Okay, plan what you're going to say and how you will say them. Avoid making callbacks. So ito yung pag tumawag ka, dapat kumpleto na yung detalyeng ita detalye itatanong mo sa company. Okay, para pag once na uh, tapos na yung conversation, lahat ng tatanungin ng manager sa'yo or ng executive sa'yo or supervisor sa'yo, hindi ka natatawag ulit dun sa company yung kasi baka mami na may nakalimutan kang itanong na detalye. So dapat hanggat maaari, i-consolidate mo yung mga uh, information na gusto mong malaman about the company para hindi ka na mag-call back ulit. Okay, the next one is... Uh, Uh, when you make a call, wait for six or seven ring before hanging up. Okay? So, pag sinabing, ano, uh, pag, tumatawag, pag tumatawag naman sa company, ikaw, okay, bilang secretary, so kailangan antay mo yung six or seven no, ring before mo ibaba yung telepono. Okay? Ibig sabihin, wala talaga sumasagot. No? Okay? Next. Okay, ano pa ba yung meron natin dito sa slide natin? Ah, okay. So next tayo is job tips to increase your efficiency in the telephone. Okay, so number one, okay, is uh, if, it, if it is necessary for you 
Okay, to be away from your telephone, arrange to have someone else to answer it. Okay, if malayo ka sa yung uh, telephone position, okay, make someone, okay, who can answer, answer it easily. Okay, yung telephone mo. Avoid personal calls during office hours. Uh, pag sinabing personal course, calls, these are your uh, ZOA a number or kaya yung mga friends mo, okay, family member. No? So avoid niya yung mga personal calls na yan. If you are working, okay, generous na lang talaga yung company kapag once na pinapaga kayo na magkaroon ng mga personal calls or mga personal matter na habang nagtatrabaho kayo, for example, nag-FB kayo, mga ganyan. Pero bilang, uh, bilang tao na sumasagot sa telepono, so nakita niyo naman yung sample nating girl kanina, no? so marami na kayo napansin na no, 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 na attitude ng isang uh, telephone, ang uh, sumasagot sa telephone natin. Next, use the telephone instrument properly. No? It, it, it is... Uh, Uh, it is courteous to speak directly into the mouthpiece, holding it about half inch from your lip. It is never necessary to shout. I mean, for not not necessarily, not necessarily for you to shout. Okay, so the position daw, ng telephone daw sa bibig mo is one fourth inch. Hindi yung nakadikit na dito yung bibig. Hindi ni nakadikit na dito yung bibig. Hindi naganon. Okay, dapat meron ka yung distance na one half. Inch. If you are using telephone, no. If you are using telephone, but some some telephones, is especially the mobile phones, no. If you are using it, kahit medyo malayo ka, narinig, narinig pa rin yung bosses mo. It's because of the sensitivity of the mouthpiece na meron ang isang telef, ang isang uh, ang isang uh, telephone or isang gadgets. Okay, kagaya nitong ginagamit ko ngayong computer. Okay, I don't, I, hindi, ano man, hindi mo na, hindi ko na kailangan lumapit dun sa screen para lang sa microphone nito, no. Uh, all, all I have to have a distance lang kasi sensitive kasi yung mouthpiece. Eh kung nilapit ko yung bibig ko sa mouthpiece, ay eh, dinabingin na kayo dyan lahat. So ganun din bilang isang sumasagot sa telepono. No? So kailangan ilapit nyo siya sa bibig pero hindi naman sobrang lapit para hindi naman uh, hindi naman necessary ni. Okay. Okay. Dalawang tos. No, dalawa, sige. <laughs> okay, when you must interrupt a conversation to answer another telephone or speak to another person, excuse yourself and state the reason. For example, you may say, will you excuse me for a moment, please? The other phone is ringing. And if, you are, if you are having a, uh, an incoming calls again. Okay, kapag importante, <laughs> okay, saka mo lang balikan yung previously na kausap mo. Okay, kapag mag-isa ka lang naman, dalawa yung telepono mo. No? Okay, it happens. It happens in different company. Next, uh, next, next question. Next job tips okay, to increase your efficiency on the telephone. If it is still necessary to leave the telephone during the conversation, explain the reason for leaving. State the appro approximate time will you, uh, you will be gone and give the caller preferences as to whether he wish to wait or have a call back later. Ayan. If you have something necessarily to leave the phone because a certain question is far from your station, okay, so give a exact explanation or appropriate time to go back, okay, uh, to hang up, uh, I mean, to handle the telephone. Okay, especially pag sobrang layo, no? so just wait for a while. Uh, I will, I will uh, I mean, I will... Uh, give uh, the call to the person concerned. Or kaya, kung malayo naman, department, okay, I will redirect you to the department which you are, you are, uh, uh, which you are uh, preferred to speak about, to talk about, mga ganyan. So, mga, mga ganyan. So, bibigyan mo sila ng explanation or time. Okay, when someone is waiting on the telephone, look in every minute or so, When the call is finally complete, say thank you for waiting. Yan. So ito naman yung nangyari, for example, sa lobby, no, sa information desk, is pwede kayo na alagay. No? It happens that you are uh, you are in the telephone call while you're in the telephone and then may dumapit na sa'yo para, mag, uh, para makipag-usap na no? for, uh, uh, in, in, in front of you. No? So, syempre, uh, papaantay mo muna yan na uh, may kausap sa telephone and they say thank you for waiting. No? Okay. The next one is uh, the courtesy of face-to-face -face conversation where the smile plays such an important part of it can be expressed over the telephone 
only through the cheerful tone and cheerful choice of words. Ayan. So kahit hindi kayo nakikita niya sa telepono, kapag uh, cheerful words ang ginamit mo or kaya cheerful tone ng boses ang ginamit mo, the customer on the other side will feel that you are also happy. Okay, next. Ayan. So naulit na yung aking slides. O, naulit na na. Ito yung next, ano, next uh, state, no? State clearly what you mean. You know, uh, you know what you're saying, but others may not. Okay, paki-iklaro niyo what are what are the things you are saying. Okay. Another is do not continue a conversation with someone in the office after you have lifted the phone. Okay, do not continue the conversation with someone in the office after you have lifted the phone. Okay, so ibig sabihin, you stop. Okay, communicating with your coworkers. Okay, then then answer the telephone. Okay, hindi yung kausap na kausap siya tapos sa telepono ka. So sa akin pag usap mas may telepono. So no 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 yan. Okay, next, do not place the transmitter against your chest while speaking. Someone in the office, the caller might still hear. Sometimes covering your transmitter with your hand is also inadequate to shout inside the car. the comments. So, ano yung sinasabi nito? Di ba? For example, may, may telephone kang sinagot, no? Telephone. Okay, ang ginawa mo, dahil kakausapin mo yung ibang tao, nilagay mo sa dibdib mo. Okay, hindi mo alam na lahat ng mga sinabi mo, narinig din niya kasi may vibration din sa dibdib mo. Okay, na, na possible niyang marinig. Okay, nang malinaw yon in the other side. Okay, so do not, do not put your phone in the chest or having a... Uh, Uh, di ba pag di pa sa, sa phone mo, no? yung mouthpiece niya, hawa ka mo yung mouthpiece niya. Okay? So sabi niya, the caller is still here. Okay? Covering the transmitter with your hand is also inadequate, uh, inadequate to shout aside the comments. So yung tipo, hawa ka mo yung, uh, yung mouthpiece, saka ka sisigaw. O kaya saka ka magsasalita uh, na hindi narinig sa side. So inadequate daw yung ganong technique. So all you have to do is to, uh, to put uh, the the telephone uh, the telephone yeah the telephone on the side lang na mismong telephone uh, uh, oper, uh, operation i mean the telephone unit sa so side lang dumo lang ilagay no okay the next one is uh, if a telephone call to your employee seems to be uh, personal nature and you're in the in his office leave the room quietly while he converse or having a conversation. Never monitor telephone conversation unless you are authorized to do so. Okay? Ang pagiging marates ay nilalagay sa lugar. Okay? When making a number of calls on the line serving several people, try to space your call so that the others may have a chance to use the telephone. Ito yung may example, meron kang limang katawagan na company, no? So, so tatapos ka na dito. Okay, make a space. Okay, bago mo, bago sa pang-apat, pang-atlo, pang, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, hindi yung parang, uh, hindi yung parang hawak mo yung telepono ng kompanya, no? Na nakikigamit ka lang naman, no? Okay, so, pag hindi, pag, pag marami kang tatawagan, so make a, leave, uh, leave a space or make a space between the calling, the caller na gusto mong uh, out, or outgoing calls na gagawin mo. Next natin is remove or all Okay, ano, di ba na bubulo din ako? Remove all foreign objects from the mouth when talking. For example, kumakain, mumunguyat. Ayan, habang may kausa sa, sa telepono. So, remove daw natin yan. Thinking of mouthpiece as a mold in which correct form must given every sound. Okay, so, kasi pag merong nat napuntang pagkain doon sa mouthpiece, magkakrate kasi yan ang mold na kung saan hindi na klaro yung maririnig mo. Okay, na uh, na boses sa kabilang side kasi nga may mga amag na doon sa mouthpiece na ng telepono kasi nga sumasagot may ka, may pagkain so sige pupunta doon yung uh, dumi and when you answering call remember the a b c always be cautious so those are the different job things you increase in efficiently on the telephone so before we end this i will show you a uh, Uh, I will show you a last clip or last video clip, okay, uh, for you to have uh, this uh, handling uh, incoming and outgoing calls effective.
or dadagal lang natin. No? It seems like people have forgotten how to answer the phone perfectly. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, It seems like people have forgotten how to answer the phone professionally at work. Or maybe companies are just not teaching people how to do it. How many times have you called a business and gotten a lackluster greeting? Or even worse, you just hear, hello, and you're like, is this business X? And with a little bit of an attitude, it's like, yeah. You're like, oh, okay, so they make you feel like you've done something wrong. Looks like somebody missed how to answer the phone in their new hire orientation. By the end of this video, you'll have five tips to help you level up your professional phone greeting skills that'll support a great customer experience. Hi everyone, Trisha Palmieri here talking about talent development and career tips. Subscribe to my channel for more leadership advice and click the bell to receive a notification when I post a new video. Let's get started with tip number one, and that's your tone. When you pick up the phone, your tone of choice gives the caller an impression of you and the company that you're working for. Good energy and a happy tone are two very good choices to make. No matter what's going on around you, the caller should feel like they are the most important person and you are 100% focused on them. The second tip is to speak clearly into the phone and avoid being too casual. Remember, you're talking to a customer or a potential client, not your BFF. The caller should be able to understand what you're saying and you should avoid saying things like, what's up, or hang on a sec, or my personal favorite, yo, dude, Keep your casual vibe for after work. And on a side note with this one, don't eat when you answer the phone. I don't know about you, but I personally think it's really gross. I mean, you have to know that even though they can't see you, they still can hear what's going on. So eat your snack later. Tip number three is to know basic answers to common questions that customers call about. The person on the other end of the phone most likely has a question and usually expects you to be able to answer it or direct them to the right place. They could ask questions like, how late are you open? Where should I park? How do I get into the building? What floor are you on? Are you near a Starbucks? All questions that people will ask when they call, among many other random things, so be prepared to at least answer the basics. Tip number four is placing somebody on hold. There's a standard that people often use by asking if they could put the customer on hold. This doesn't really make any sense to me because you never want the customer to say no. If you could answer their call in the first place at that moment, you wouldn't ask the question in the first place. So why phrase it that way? Instead say something like, hello, thanks for calling, I'll be right with you, and automatically place them on hold and get back to them as soon as you can. This will avoid the person saying, no, I can't hold, and you're thinking, well, I only said that because I thought you'd say yes, and no one's ever said no to me before, and now it's just kind of awkward. So just cut right to the chase and kindly place them on hold. And that brings us to tip number five, the end of the call. It's pretty simple. Just don't hang up the phone. Actually say goodbye. When you've answered their question or you've helped them in some way, they say thank you, you say you're welcome, and then you should say goodbye. When you just hang up the phone, it doesn't leave a very positive lasting impression. And now you have five tips to practice the next time the phone rings at work. Your customers are gonna be so happy that professional phone etiquette is still a thing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out my playlist on professional communication. Thanks. Okay, so those are the different uh, videos or clips and discussions for today's Oh, for, for today's video today. <laughs> for this week, ayan, na ating uh, pinag-usapan. Lahat na mga sinabi ko kanina at nakita niyo presentation, all of it are being posted in the NEO LMS. Ayan. So, uh, any questions, class? And uh, I have uh, two to three, uh, meron bang questions uh, for us to entertain for a, for a while? Ayan. So, meron po bang questions? Ay, attendance po sana. Hindi nyo binigay yung attendance. <laughs> Ayan po yung attendance. And uh, if you don't have any questions, thank you for listening to our discussion today. And see you next week. Always remember, you are loved, accepted, and valued. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank you.